You know, I gotta be honest, I have never seen anyone more dedicated to hanging meat than Seek Thuth here, and I'm a man for Pete's sake. And with literal months of requests behind them, I think it's time to finally give them what they want, a drying rack slash jerky guide of all things. But you know what? While unappealing upon hearing the idea, there's actually some legit hidden mechanics to it all that might surprise you. Mostly the differences between drying timers at the end of the day. For you see, while all big meat and large fish will dry into jerky, a food item that offers us 20 health, 25 hunger, 15 sanity, and a 20 day spoilage rate itself, mind. The latter only takes one day to dry, while the former takes two. Monster meat kind of continue that trend in their own opposite way, I suppose, as while both monster meat itself and battleless wings can dry into monster jerky here, it's the former that is faster this time around. Side note though, don't really bother drying monster meats. Both versions of the stuff are actually better cooked than dried, especially the wings as you can see. But finally, all small meats, morsels, frog legs, and even eels for whatever reason, will all dry into small jerky in one day no matter what, and small jerky offers us but 8 health, 12.5 hunger, and 10 sanity this time sure, however, it will still spoil in that same 20 days, a whopping 40 if you put them in a fridge. But before we talk some extra tidbits I'm throwing in, a few last notes here. While all dried food across the entire Don't Starve universe actually share that very same 20 day spoilage timer, you should be aware that said timer actually starts when they're still on the rack, so you best pick your food fast. Drying racks will continue to work throughout every season, all throughout the day and night, and even in the caves. However, even a little rain is going to stop the drying process entirely, so make note there. And finally, yes, it is a very good idea to dry rotting meat to not only stop their spoilage timers, but to also turn them into an entirely refreshed and long-lasting food for any later use of your choosing. Again, all dried foods last for 20 days alone. So if you put them in an icebox, they're going to be double in that. Use it well. But hold up, beard. Are you suggesting that there's actually more to dry than just meat? Yes. Yes, I am. In fact, meat might not be the best thing to dry nowadays. Kelp fronds can also hang with the gang and dry so flippin' fast that you might not even notice it. Seriously. A quarter of a day for a long-lasting food item that restores one health, 9.4 hunger, and 10 sanity a pop? That is insanely good, so don't miss out. Hopping dimensions, though, could see you drying the jellyfish of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. However, note that all dried jellyfish is literally the same as normal jellyfish, minus its extreme spoilage timer, of course. Drying seaweed first originated in Shipwrecked, actually, although Don't Starve Together definitely got the better end of the deal, let me tell you. But lastly, and likely most importantly, the fly trap stalks of Don't Starve Hamlet can take a full day to dry into what are known as stocking sticks. They are essentially a depletable yet refuelable walking cane, however they increase our speeds by 30% over a cane's 25, which is absolutely incredible knowing that it came from a flippin' drying rack. So you see folks, drying racks are more interesting than you probably thoughts. And to put the cherry on top of the day comes the special drying racks of Pearl's Island, of course. Now, unfortunately, they don't actually have anything special to them, say like an increased drying time, for example. But hey, they're still tremendously important to Pearl's quest, and we get to feed the old crab the boot. Seriously, though, if they were to make these like 5% faster or something, that would be awesome. But there you have it, everyone. A drying rack slash jerky guy for Don't Starve Together, Shipwrecked, and Hamlet all in one, I suppose. But you know what? Scratch all of that. Here you have it, Seek Thuth. A guy dedicated just to you, my friend. I hope I made it worth it. Thanks for watching. Well wishes. Hang your meat properly, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.